Good morning, how are you? Uh, having a good week so far? Uh, I'm sure that uh, you are uh, uh, very excited about thanks Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Great, wonderful. Now, I'm going to take attendance first. Uh, Brianna? Here. Mm -hmm. Lauren? Here. Emily? Here. Hannah? Here. Uh, Lori? Here. And um, Mike? Here. Great. Now, um, here's what we are going to cover uh, today. We are going to start with a scale in a page with a special emphasis on D major scale, and I, I will explain to you why uh, in a minute. Then we are going to do uh, the page again with a special emphasis on D major on two octaves, yeah, like the scale. And uh, then we are going to do repertoire dance on page 64, and uh, providing that we have enough time uh, we'll finish with harmonization on page 71 in F major. Okay. Now, I know that you have uh, been reviewing many scales, including uh, C major, G major, D major, A major, E major, B major, F major. And uh, I understand that you started working on two octaves, right? Okay. Uh, which scale was particularly difficult for you at this point? Or as is the same, does it present difficult, uh, different types of difficulties? By the way, we can um, uh, break down the difficulty uh, by noticing the similarity of fingering in some scales. For example, is the D major scale fingering the same as C major? Is it the same as G major? Is it the same as A major? Is it the same as E major? Did I forget anything? No. Now, um, I think it would be a good idea to review the D major scale because uh, uh, the CGDAE, that's a large amount of scales, right? They share the same fingering. So if we focus on D major scales fingering, it, it means what? It means that you will also know the fingering for C, G, A, and E, right? So uh, that's exactly what we are going to do. First of all, let's start with the basics. Um, D major scale has how many sharps? And they are? Very good. And the uh, right hand uses which finger for the F sharp? Three. Three. And then uses which finger for the C sharp? Four. Very good. Notice that the third and fourth finger are rather long compared to index, pinky, and thumb, right? And so it makes sense to place those long fingers on black keys rather than thumb and pinky, right? Because the black keys are higher than the white keys, so the long, longer fingers have better reach than the shorter fingers. So it's more comfortable to use uh, three and four rather than thumb and pinky. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. How about the left hand now? Left hand uses which finger on the F sharp? Third. Like the right hand. So they use the same finger, third finger on F sharp. What about the C sharp? Left hand uses which finger? Two. two. Okay. And again, three and two are relatively long compared to the thumb and pinky, right? Now, uh, I would like uh, to ask one of you to come to the board and raise a finger ring. And then we will help. We'll also try to sing along, okay? Uh, who wants to come to the ball? Emily. Emily, you, you like to come to the board, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, now, hmm. Uh, let's see, do we have enough space? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, put RH. That means right hand. Don't write too big because we need plenty of space. So there for class, uh, you can even, you know, play. Uh, actually, here's what I'm going to do to save time. I'm going to, oh, headphone here. I'm going to uh, play the right hand, you know, and then we are going to sing along the fingering, and then she's going to write them, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the numbers on the board, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, you will see, you know, uh, which notes I'm playing through the visualizer. You see that? The light will come on the visualizer. So, do you want to sing with me? Because me, 
I'm not a very good singer, actually. I'm pretty bad, so I need your help. How many of you are, you know, love to sing? Great. I don't know anyone who doesn't like to sing. What do you think, Emily? Yeah, I think everyone. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then why don't I, um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. And you can even play. Okay. I won't be able to hear you, but uh, I will be able to hear you singing. Okay. So, uh, help me out, class. Uh, hmm. I start with which finger is right hand? One. One. Two. Three, and then what, that, what do I do in order to continue? One, I pass my thumb underneath. Two, that's too high for me. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. You have lovely voices. Thank you. Now, uh, good. Thank you for drawing a line. What Emily did was to separate the second octave from the first octave. Well done, right? Now, um, uh, shall we do the same thing for the left hand now? Okay. So therefore, you are going to help me sing, and the visualizer will reflect, you know, the keys I'm pressing. Uh, that's very low. So, uh, well. I will try this, uh, and make sure to align the numbers, you know, with the right hand. So help me out, classes. The left hand start with which finger? Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Good job. Now, uh, also, you know, what is the di physical difficulty class uh, in playing the scale? You know? What is the main difficulty? One, two, three. Yeah, the bringing the sum underneath the hand. So you have to prepare your sum in advance, right? If you don't prepare in advance, what happens to the sum? The connection gets severed. Da -da -da, and then you fall down. So you don't want the poor sum to fall down. So you want to make sure to prepare as you are, you know, playing the E, F sharp. Make sure that the thumb is getting closer to the hand, and then gradually gets underneath. Okay, it's like a it's like a little snake, yeah, like a snake is lying flat, rather you know flatter than the other fingers, but still you know you have, you have to place the thumb rather you know on the side like here, you know? but uh, it's lower than the other fingers, so therefore like this gently, and then two, three. Four, Four, that's more difficult because the distance between the fourth finger and the thumb is larger. So you have to prepare, you know, way in advance, you know, before the fourth finger. Okay? And then you continue your way. And then you finish with five on top. Five, the pinky arrives, you know, and you're glad that it's over with because then you don't have to use the thumb anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, same uh, for the left hand, what is the physical challenge? Right, it's you know passing the hand over, over. So therefore, what is that movement? Uh, it's almost like rolling your arm a little bit. You need a little bit of arm motion. Uh, actually, I want to see that a little bit. Okay. So uh, I I will check. You know, um, I would Emily. You can go back to your. Thank you for your. Oh, before you go, you know, notice something very interesting. Notice that um, uh, on which notes do hands play the same finger? D, E, 
F sharp, so we are going to underline number three. And then that's different G, A, and B, B, yeah, so. so it's, uh, you know, every third and six scale degree, right? And you can again, thank you. Good. Now, I will have to check on you, you know, uh, how well you are executing. Uh, hand separate for now. Just checking on the, the, the passage of the sum. Let's try, I'm going to check on your right hand first. Now, um, let's see. Okay. Uh, Brianna, okay. let's try the right hand. Or C sharp with the fourth finger. That's it. That's it. Good. Now prepare your left hand, and I'm coming back to you, all right? Now, may I see the right hand? Go slow. Slow is good. Uh, uh, you went too fast, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Now you can prepare your left hand. Uh, now, Emily, let's see the D major scale. Uh, now I would love to see on two octaves actually. Okay. Good. You are doing a yeah. good job. Go slow. Slow is good. Fast is bad. Now, you can prepare your left hand. I'm coming back to you. Now, can I see your D major scale? One more time. One more time. Very good. Now, you can do the left hand. Uh, now, I'm sure it's great. And let's check the D major scale. Hey, good job. Now you can prepare your left hand. Now, ready for the left hand? OK. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, Brianna, the left hand. Hmm? Three. Now, you know what you can do? You can prepare the right hand going down and the left hand going down. So you have to read, you know, from here to here, okay? Uh, now, let's see. Mm, now Lauren, can I see the D major scale? I mean, the left hand only for now, going up. Oh, three. No, three on the B. Good. Now I you don't can. Know why I keep to That's all right. Yeah. You know, uh, you can now uh, uh, prepare the left hand going down and the right hand going down. Okay, Emily, I'm checking on your left hand. Okay. Good. And then you can prepare going down. All right. Now, can I check on your left hand? Good. Now you can prepare the left hand going down or right hand going down. Well, let's see the means there. Um, great. No problem at all. Good job. Good job. Now. 
uh, class, um, um, here's the thing. What you, uh, in order to reinforce the finger, here's what you can do. And um, um, because right now we are focusing on the ascending form, you know, not the descending form. And uh, uh, you, are, you are preparing to going down. Uh, but I think it's important to know how to play very well, you know, ascending before going down. Okay? And for that reason, we are just going to focus on the ascending. And then, when you have practiced more, you know, the descending, you will be ready to do that at next class. Don't you think so? And here's what I, I would recommend to reinforce the fingering. What would be very good for you is this. And you can practice the scale in groups, really. You can practice the right hand. Oh, do you know how to make the keyboard loud? The system is very elaborate. Uh, first of all, here's what you should do. You go to the menu, and uh, you have to press, uh, keep pressing on the menu until you see the um, uh, system, system menu. Okay? Then uh, you go down all the way, uh, and you see keyboard, keyboard, then you press on the right. Okay? And, uh, oh, actually, no, um, I made a mistake. Don't press, uh, don't press on the right of the keyboard. Continue, 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 continue until you see utility. When you see utility, press on the right. Okay? And then, uh, then there are lots of things which appear, and you will see speaker. And then you press on the right again, and then you put, you know, you highlight on, and then you press on the right, and then voila. What, what, does it work? Huh? Oh, great. Smart. Oh, very good. Now, uh, the reason why is because we are going to practice scale in groups, and you can use that method, you know, when you pra uh, You don't have to, you know, if it, it might work for you very well. Um, but, you know, in some instances it might not work, but uh, uh, it really helped me you know, when I was learning the scale. So therefore, here's what we are going to do. First of all, you are we are going to uh, sing, you know, as an entire class, D major scale, uh, playing the right hand, mm -hmm. but at the same time, singing aloud. How about that? Or what we can do is this. We can have three people play the right hand, and the rest of the class sing the right hand fingering. How about that? Is that better? Who wants to play? Who are the three who want to play the right hand? Okay, great. Laurie, Mike, and Lauren. And then it means that the three of you have to sing. I will sing too. Okay, how about that? I will try to sing, uh, you know, uh, on pitch if I can. <laughs> All right. So we'll, uh, I will count four. One, slow. I like slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, we are just going to do the, the ascending form, you know, for now. And <laughs> uh, we will do the descending form next time. Now, uh, uh, let's do uh, uh, let's do the reverse. Those who played now have to sing the left hand. So it means that Lori, Mike, and Laura, you have to sing the left hand, while the rest of the class plays the fingering. I mean, plays the left hand. Okay, uh, ready? Mm? Okay. So the left hand. Who are going to play the left hand again? Uh, yes, and the uh, left, left hand. Yes. So we have to start with five. Okay, great. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Good job. I can see that you are using the, the right finger. Very good. Now, more difficult. Here's what we are going to do. Um, what, you know, here's the, uh, this, you know, uh, Brianna, Emily, and Laurie will play the left hand, singing the left hand finger at the same time. 
And uh, it means that Mike, Hannah, and Lauren, you will place the right hand singing, the, you know, right hand fingering. And it will be a kind of confusing, but that's normal because when you put hands together, that's difficult. And that simulates, you know, putting hands together because you have to be able to juxtapose, you have to be able to focus on your fingering while listening to other people sing a different fingering. So let's see how well you do it. At first, it will be confusing, but it might be good practice. Okay? So uh, me, uh, I will, uh, you don't mind, I, I will sing the left hand finger because my, my voice is not that high. Okay? All right. Again, one, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Oh, let's stop. That's difficult, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's try just on one octave one more time. Okay. And this time I will sing the right hand. One. And uh, uh, please sing as loud as you can. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One. Okay, one more time. Careful, after one, two, three in the right hand, what happens? Some underneath, some underneath. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, Five. Good. Thank you. Now, this time we will, uh, you know, extend to two octaves. It won't be perfect. Guarantees that there will be mistakes. But that's something you can take with you and rehearse with a friend. Okay. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, I don't expect perfection, but this is a, a method of practice which encourages co uh, collaboration. And then, if you make mistakes, you know uh, the other person can help you correct those. Stronger, and, you know. I, I see a, a lot of students practice skills in pages alone, and. Uh, uh, some, uh, that's not fun sometimes. And it's good to practice together and uh, to kind of test each other this way. So uh, you might find that um, helpful. Now, uh, we are not ready to tackle the descending form yet, but uh, you can uh, practice and rehearse with a friend. Okay? Uh, we are going to uh, go to the repertoire piece now. Oh, no, a pigeon. I was going to forget a pigeon. Now, a pigeon, uh, we are going to focus on the D major pigeon. Okay? And I want to show you something. Um, do you know the fingering for the right hand? Oh, by the way, a pigeon's fingering is much easier than the uh, scales, right? For the right hand, it's what? It's one, two, three, five. Uh, yes, uh, five if we want to finish, but then if we want to continue, what do we do? We put the one, right? And then two, three, five. And uh, notice that the distance between the third finger and the thumb is wider this time. So therefore, you have to help the finger with an extra motion from the arm. You have to open up the arm, like chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken wing. <laughs> okay. Now. Uh, the reason why the finger is one, two, three, one, uh, one, two, three is very simple. Place the chord, the octave first. Place the octave, and then try to grab the F sharp and A while you are playing the octave. What happens? It falls naturally under the fingers, right? Yes, and then you play the octave, right? Yes. Doesn't that feel comfortable? Yeah. Why does it feel comfortable? Because there is an equal distance between each finger, between the thumb, between the index, between the third finger, between the pinky. It feels centered. Okay? Now, um, for the left hand, okay, for the left hand, uh, what is the finger? It's 5, 3, 2, 1, right? No, 5, 3, 2, 1 for the D major. Because try 5, 4, 2, 1, what happens? I will show you. Emily, Emily, you know, Emily, I want to show you something. Emily, if I put five, oh, please, 
Please don't play. Please be nice, okay? Five, four. Uh, it's hard to see from the distance, right? But uh, what happens? You can see that, right? That uh, the distance between the pinky and the fourth finger. Yes. And too close in between fourth finger and second finger. So therefore, if you put five, three instead of five, four, what happens? The distance is less. So it makes it more comfortable. So that the hand stays nicely shaped as if you're holding an apple. Okay? Apple. So that's uh, the reason behind the fingering for the physiology of the hand. Okay? Now, let's try the same thing what uh, we did. And uh, this, uh, we are going to sing uh, the, the right hand while we are, we, are playing, uh, we are playing it. So therefore, it will be. And then don't, don't forget to open up your arm when you are passing the thumb underneath the third finger. On two octaves, you can do that on two octaves, right? I'm going to count four, all right? Everybody plays. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Chicken wing, one, two, three, five. Thank you, thank you. Now, we are going to do the left hand, okay? Left hand, so therefore left hand, when you roll over the thumb, you have to turn over like this. Mm, it's kind of fun, actually. All right, let's try that. Uh, and let's sing the finger. One, two, three, four. Five, three, two, one, three, two, one. Uh, by the way, we never cross over the, uh, the index like that. That would be uh, unnecessarily difficult. Let's try one more time, okay? One, two, three, four. Five, three, two, one, one, one. Sorry, I was focusing on some things that uh, I saw some, some of you do that. Five, three, two, and then trying to cross over. <laughs> that would be very hard. Why make your life so difficult? It's a five, three, two, one. And after finishing to play one, you know, on the D, then you cross over, not before, okay? Oh. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, four. Five, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, one more time, one more time. One, two, three, four. Five, three, two, one, three. Oh, it's an F sharp. Three, two, one. Good, okay. All right. So therefore, we'll cover the rest of the material when you come back from Thanksgiving, okay? All right?